to the Peak District. It's uh, it's wanging it down and it's going to do all day. Brilliant. <laughs> So I'm here to do Simon Warren's 100 climbs challenge today. Oh, please don't hit your bike on there. Oh, they're good. So yeah, I'm here to do one of Simon Warren's uh, challenges. It's uh, one of his 100 climbs, peak edition, this one. I think today comprises of, it's supposed to be a kind of cycling orienteering day. But obviously, being Simon, it's hilly. And I think he's picked, yeah, 15 hills. I was going to say locally, but they're not particularly local. 15 hills where there's a certain amount of points for top and bottom. I'll put a list up here and leave it there for a minute. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an arduous day. I'm not sure how much recording I'm going to get done because there's not going to be any views to look at, per se, because it's... Um, grey and miserable and uh, I mean I drove through the cloud to get here yesterday uh, so yeah um, I've had a bit of help doing the route because I've been so busy recently you've probably noticed with all the videos I put out last week um, one every day for a week sorry about that <laughs> um, it's I've had some help from uh, Andrew on two wheels it was saw at the Great Dunfell Hill Grimmage He'd already plotted the route, there was a slight change and I've tweaked it a bit but general premise is it looks like about 96 miles, 160k and 12,500 feet of climbing which is, what's that, 3,500 metres, 4,000 metres, hmm. and a lot of it's steep, like steep, peak steep, so first thing I'm going to do is work out what to wear because I think I'm going to have to put my shake dry on but I don't want to put short sleeves underneath because you get a bit eh in it. But then I've got a base layer. Do I do that? It's still warm. Find out soon. So it's looking like I think short sleeves. In fact, this is Simon Warren's actual designed 100 Climbs jersey. So that's going on with the shake dry. I'll tell you one thing I've not shown you about these uh, Shuck Velo bibs. They've got these high bits up here. And they keep you a bit slimmer because, you know, normally fat hangs out. <laughs> They're a bit like. Uh, Oh, what do you call them? What was the film? Big Pants. Like, <laughs> just keep everything tucked in, don't they? So, yeah, I'm going to get ready, get my sandwiches sorted, get all of my food. So, intention is to take all of the food I need. And hopefully, um, depending on how I feel, we're coming back through Rosalie later. Well, say we. I'll be coming back through here later. And I should be able to top these up before the last couple, three, four climbs. Um, I've, uh, I've just snapped my valve core. This is not good. I've got a flat back tyre and no valve core. <sighs> yes! Someone's had a spare. I had some in the post. I've got some literally coming this week. Sod's Law. Sod's Law. Huge thank you to him. Huge thank you. Right, let's get some air in this and get there. <sighs> Mr. Warren. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It's horrible. Are you good? Uh, uh, it's minging, isn't it? This, yeah. Look at this. So, yeah, go on. A quick, yeah, I'm yeah. looking to do the whole thing. Basic yes. premise I've said already is like all the climb. Yes. Um, yeah, so it took me four hours to drive it, so yeah. Three eight four hours. Four hours to drive it? Last night, putting the signs out. Oh, <laughs> that does not fill me no. with confidence. <laughs> Almost not raining. Almost not raining. Right, it's time to get moving. Let's load this uh, this route up and start. Cry in immediately, shall we? So we're away. It's raining lightly. It's probably going to do this all day. Um, that's probably the theme. Cloud cover. I've got my ass saver on. I'll try and keep some semblance of not being utterly wet through. But, bed in, let's get moving. Um, I'm gonna try and take it easy all day. Get it done, apparently there's an eight hour cut off, but that doesn't matter. Theoretically, it should be, it should be okay in eight hours. I hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna get home tonight. <laughs> but, and yet again, clear glasses.
Uh, one thing I definitely didn't do correctly last night was sleep well. Because I had a drink. When will I learn? I did it last week as well at Manchester. Too many. Uh, I put gloves on today as well. Because it's so wet and there's descending to do, I'd rather have the safety of a bit of grip on the descent. And the descent is going to be taken extremely sensibly. Not sensibly, I've not even put the GoPro on. Because we're not going to be able to see anything, are we? It's just going to get covered in muck. So I've got to scan each one of these at the bottom and the top. That's it. Handy. Really obvious. So I can get on and do that because I don't want to spend all day filming. A huge difference. The Wahoo is showing sort of 14, 15% as orange. It tells you a lot about today. Last week it was showing 10% at red at Manchester because I think it's relative to what you're doing that day. Okay, that's Manor's Wood done. That's a nice easy start to be honest. Nice gentle start. Thank you Andrew, that's great route planning. Let's do the jacket back up. Put it back over the sandwiches. Head downhill. It's got red on it. That looks filthy. <laughs> oh well. Slightly worried I've uh, missed the checkpoint, but I could be wrong. I think we're just coming up to the bottom of Kerbar. Kerbar, I don't know how you pronounce it. Sorry. Sorry, people. It's beautiful around here. I've seen lots of squirrels already, all of them alive. Uh, heron. What did I just see now? A hare. Uh, oh, it's gorgeous. I've just had to come down here, I think, to go up it. I've had to go opposite my route. But this looks like it's a, a minger of a hill, Kerber Edge, Kerber Road, whatever it's called. And I've just had to descend it to go up to come straight back down by the looks of it. Ah, bingo, Kerber Edge done. It's quite nice actually. Now to work out the rest of the route. <laughs> Making sure I get to start like in case something goes wrong. I can always have my GPX data as well. Oh hello, wheel spin. Not a good idea. Right, in the big ring to start with, that's foolish. Let's sort that out now. Come on. There we go. It's that long stone edge. This looks nice and easy, this one, to be honest. All orange. I'll say that, but I don't know how long it is. We'll soon find out, won't we? I think it's uh, fair to say that this is probably going to be one of my slowest ever rides but with the highest average powers at the moment because uh, I'm at 18.7 kilometers per hour it's that 13 miles an hour at the moment but you know when it's as hilly as this that's to be expected and proof again that mileage really isn't a factor when it comes to training it's uh, Time in saddle, power spent. So a power level for that amount of time. It's all good, it's all good. Bit of a uh, bit of flattish respite for now. Um, one thing I would quite like to say. Um, everyone, just about, absolute strangers out on the road, walking, cycling, whatever. Really friendly. Extremely friendly, it's brilliant. People saying hello, waving. I've just seen somebody in a car that I saw on the top of Great Longstone like half an ago, half an hour ago, a big wave. Why are more people than that? I might not know where I am, but I think I know where I'm going. That looks like we're at the pass over there. How's it going? Oh, you're all right. Is this Winnet's Pass we're heading towards? Uh oh. 
That guy's got a pair of legs on him, Jesus Christ. There's nothing spare. Fair play. Yeah, jacket off for this. It's actually quite nice out, so. It can just stay squashed in the pocket for now. Oh, God almighty. And see why it's so popular. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> Wheel spin and burn clutches. It's relentless, this. Whoa. Happy days. On the uh, easy bit now at the top. Getting into the clouds. Woo! In my, uh, in my film about the Fred Witten, Simon talks about hard knot and the cruelty of putting a road up over there. Clearly he's a part of that cruelty gang. He's sticking a big eight pointer at the other side of the bottom of my neck. <laughs> Sod. Honestly mate. <laughs> it's proper pea soupy up here now. I think I've got the helmet light on all on the back of my head so I'm lit up. Okay, next, after a long cold descent from there, down to Fieslows. This looks filthy, so uh, yeah, let's get on with it. I need to get warm again. Ugh, cold. There's lots of red in this. Uh, again, excuse me. Uh, yeah, well, we'll crack on. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look horrific, let's be honest. <sighs> well, I don't like stopping on hills on peas laws and it's wanging it down so I've had to uh, mucky it was 24 degrees two days ago <laughs> certainly not now that went on forever I'm starting to question myself already uh, just counting up I'm at um, 33 points so far not even halfway 75 total but um, I have a plan, I have a plan B if I need to uh, abandon, going through Rowsley, um, about 100-110k in, excuse me, moving about, I'm trying to, trying to see where everything goes, um, so I can always abandon them, but I don't want to, I'm going to crack on, I can't get any wetter, it's been about an hour since I've chatted to you, um, cold, <laughs> cold and wet, um, and I can't really see, although, I take my glasses off, I can it's beautiful. I just can't see any of it with my eyes and with my brain because I'm just going at the moment. Struggling, I can't get to my pockets to eat, which is suboptimal, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, this is Crest Brookdale. Again, it's gorgeous. They want to save it. I'm not sure what they want to save it from at the moment, but I guess we'll find out one of these days. So well, yeah, I'm gonna descend down this hill. I have to say sorry to everyone for my noisy discs. They are really making some sounds. I'm uh, I'm very confused. Montal head start. It's at the top. I've done it already. I've scanned the bottom. Now I've scanned the top. In the wrong order. Points are on, but well, that's nice. But yeah, I'm halfway in. Four hours in, yeah. I think I'll be cutting it short. I'm gonna go back to Rosalie. Hmm. We'll see how I feel. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not one for quitting. You know me, you know I don't quit and stuff like this, but. I'm tired, cold, wet, long way from home. <laughs> so, we'll see. we'll see. Okay, typically, it's brightened up <laughs> now I've said that. Uh, a few miles down the line, I'm just gone through Ashford in the water, pun intended, not intended, all right. Um, I'm still utterly wet through. I think I might just do the next couple of climbs because 
that will see me going back through Rousley in about 20k, 30k, something like that. Rousley, Rosley, I don't know. Brilliant. That Chatsworth down there, I think it must be something like it. Bloody hell, it's amazing. Um, I think errors have been made in the route reading as well. I'm at the top of Stanton Peak, but I haven't scanned the bottom, same as with Monsell Head. But I've got to the stage where I'm not overly fussed now. I'm gonna get a couple more hills in. That's me. Yeah, I've gone completely wrong. I've done two of these climbs the wrong way around. I'm not going back. I'm heading towards, uh, oh, I've already been along here this morning. I'm gonna head back towards Rosley now, Rosley, um, probably do Rosley Bar. I think I might quit there. Ed's, Ed's not in the game today. Um, yeah, lack of sleep and all that malarkey. Not great. Oh, he's a psychopath to go on. Yes. Although typically the weather's good now. On the Rosley Bar, and uh, I owe it to myself to do this one, and I think that might do. Whew. This is why I need a tough, tough winter of training. Never ending that bugger. <laughs> it's uh, half one. I'm gonna go back and just chill. For a bit. Your boy is tired. Tired, tired, tired. So there's no chance I'm getting the last 50k in. How long have I got to go? Oh 60k, no. That's not happening. And um, typically I've gone absolutely miles past <laughs> past the checkpoint. Apparently it was just at the end of the hill and I didn't see it. Too busy sweating. Well, here it is, not miles up there, where I went. Have you done a ball? No, I have a ball. In groups, it's been a tough day today. It's been a tough day. Mistakes have been made. No. Let's get some pizza. And then we go all How's it going? Everyone can buy it. So there's two guys to go out? Yeah, it's like, yeah, come on, it should be 33. Well, I rode it, but not all of it. Never mind. Typically, it's still perfect. But, doesn't matter now. I had a pizza, had some sweets, had a chat, and I'm gonna get home because it's coming up to three o'clock and I've got probably a three hour drive knowing Sunday and the M61 and the M6 and all that. So yeah, all is well. It is good pizza, that's why. Awkward. I suppose I owe you guys a bit of a summary on that. Um, my God, look at the state of this. That's how much it's rained. It's been bouncing. Told you it was raining. Anyway, yeah, um, obviously annoyed that I didn't do the whole lot. And two of the climbs I've done the wrong way. So I'm gonna have to come back to the area and do some cycling around here, because it's beautiful. All the bits that I got to see were beautiful because obviously I've missed a load of it because of the weather and I've not gone up River, I've not gone up Star Disc and Holly Lane. Um, I'm cutting this in now before we go back to the end. Stats, I forgot to do stats. So I've ridden 5 hours 13, an average of 20.3 kilometres of an hour. That is without a shadow of a doubt, the slowest 100k I've ever done in my life, 105.8 kilometers. But my average power is, I've gone past it. Average power, 224 watts for five hours. So it's clearly nothing wrong with me because that's very similar to last week at Manchester. Average heart rate was still in zone two at 141, but just. 
but a lot of that is due to obviously hills I think got up to 182 that must have been up Rosley or when that's pass I think what a beautiful place that is so I need to come back and it's not that far away so I might look at a day in winter if the weather's nice see if anyone wants to come and join me we'll have a bit of a boot camp so yeah if you fancy that we'll get a group of us and go and do these ones over here but yeah 42 points out of 75 because I couldn't be asked doing the rest a couple of wrong turns <laughs> not blaming you Andrew don't worry I should do this myself uh, yeah it's tough tough day tough day despite not being anywhere near as long I just thought I didn't want to run out of time and I didn't want to run out of legs so I'm going to get back on the bike tomorrow and uh, give myself a kick in the arse that's what I need so at least it is dry now so I can put the bike away and I'm not going to make everything utterly filthy I'll just wipe the tyres down so yeah let's get in this thing and get the two and a half three hour drive home sorted hopefully without cramping uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, after this, I've got a more restful week coming up. Yeah, a couple of little rides and then I'm away down to Santa Pod. I don't know if you know what Santa Pod is. It's a drag racing place. So I'm off there next weekend. So I'm not actually riding at all next weekend. I get a rest week. It's a consolidation week. I should maybe do something about that. If anyone's got any questions, yeah, fire away about this or anything. So, Right, I'm going to go as more people cycle by thank you very much oh, it's beautiful though thank you very much for watching and i will see you next week <laughs>